everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, I've made an adjustment to the um, direwolf, and I'd like to show you guys, get your opinion on it. I'm not really sure if it's the way to go, but it is definitely ut utilizing the Gauss Rifle Cockpit. Um, now, let's have a quick look here. Do that first. Um, also, the Black Knight is back. Let's have a look at that first. The Black Knight will save the Direwolf for uh, last, best to last. Okay, so here is the Black Knight. Now, I tried to keep it as true to the original back Black Knight as I could. Uh, it basically had an ERP or PPC, two large lasers, and a bunch of medium lasers. Uh, so I basically went with the ER PPC, two ER larges, and four medium pulses. Now, the heat is not the best, but the idea is that we're not going to be using the medium pulses at long range. We'll be using them when we get in close. Maybe we'll turn off the ER PPC. I don't know yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it's got, had, I had to put in the heat dissipating uh, armor um, and prototype double heat sinks up the wazoo just to get this guy within any kind of heat, uh, um, n close to heat neutrality as I could, I guess. Um, I used the, co the uh, cockpit mods the best I could here. We had a fire control system energy for accuracy with all the weapons. Range finder so we can see stuff a little better. Tracker sensors, plus one accuracy again. Um, heat bank, uh, we got case in both torsos to protect against everything else. Put a couple of cooling pods in here in case we needed to cool off real quick. Defense gyro to keep it protected. Uh, Nova CEWS, obviously, because we want to try to make sure everyone's got this for uh, um, to be able to share our targeting information or sharing sensor information, that is. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's overall, it's a, kind of a... You know, I don't know. It's a roundabout, long, close range kind of mech. 300 core gives it a half decent speed. It's like 5.8, I think, right? Yeah, 5.8. So this is just as fast as it, all the other heavy mechs. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's a nice B-Lance mech. Um, it's 75 tons, so it, and it, the armament on it and stuff and the armor on it uh, is more than enough to be able to handle whatever's being thrown at it. So I think it'll be fine. And now let's have a look at the dire wolf. So I tried to fit an advanced AMS in this thing, but with the weapons I have in it right now, it's just not working. So let's have a look. Before we had two Gauss rifles, two large lasers, and two uh, medium lasers, ER mediums. Um, so I've gone with a pair of Gauss rifles in each arm. We lost one of the weapon mounts, unfortunately, so we can't really do much about that. Uh, but I put the hyper assault Gauss in the torso. Um, as a massive splash damage weapon, um, you know it's it can actually do up to like you know, over 200, 200 damage. So I thought of giving it or giving it another try just to see how it goes. Um, it, everything's backed up by twelve turns of continuous fire. If this fires uh, twice at like the double round every turn, um, then we're backed up with twelve turns of continuous fire. So we're okay there. TTS ballistic give, to give them all a little bit more accuracy. Uh, we don't have to worry about the recoil, but um, we do need the extra accuracy. Plus the, the fire control system um, HAG gives us minus one recoil, plus two accuracy, and 20% gas rifle damage, which includes this. So all the projectiles here, rather than doing five, will be doing six damage. Uh, when we Warlord, they'll be doing close to seven. So, you know, we'll see to see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's this one. Uh, I, we do have a double heat sink kit in here, but we don't really need it because our heat sinking is like... Nothing, right? So, all right. So that's this one. Now we have moved. Oh yeah, sorry. We also have an, uh, a clan AMS in it. Not the advanced AMS, but just the regular AMS. I couldn't get the advanced in there. Just didn't have the weight. Even with all the Patrick materials, I was still over by like two tons or something like that. And there wasn't anything I wanted to pull out. Um, so yeah, we're kind of stuck with that. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, first things first, barracks. Let's go to the mech warriors real quick, because Griff has got another skill here. He is getting close to being maxed out, just like Mockingbird is. So I am going to go with tactics. Um, Guts is giving us plus three health and injury resist, but since Griff technically can't die, um, we're going to go with tactics. Plus tactics, I think, is the better choice of the two. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the indirect fire penalty, but the bonus initiative and the plus 40 sensor distance that we're gaining um, is a huge deal. So we're going to take that. And everybody else is fine. I, just, I checked them. There's nothing else that these guys can get. 
added on. So, uh, star map. We have jumped. We were behind actual line, the enemy lines. We were back here at uh, Buckminster, um, and we jumped back here because the front is now moving towards us. Uh, looks like Comstar is doing a pretty good job. Uh, if you notice over here, um, Ghost Bear is doing a pretty heavy job over here. So the Night Witches are going to have their uh, have their hands full over here trying to stem the Ghost Bear tide. It's not going to happen, but you know we'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, so we're here. Um, Comstar has gained a little bit of a foothold on this planet, so we're going to try and um, negate that and solidify Jade Falcon's control over the planet. And by in order to do that, um, I'm going to take a mission that I normally don't take. And I'm going to take the Coupe here, because it's the only one out of all of these that's actually well, against the higher level uh, here, that's actually against Comstar. So we're going to take this one, and it's a three and a half skull. It's going to be two lances. But I think our main land should have, be able to handle it. If not, it'll be a really good fight. So let's uh, let's take this one. I'm always in for a good fight. And we're going to go full salvage because hopefully we can get some good stuff off these guys. And accept. Dr. Murad is doing a bang up job. The repairs are almost done. Okay, so the, the Mjolnir is out now. Direwolf's coming back in. Uh, we're going to let Griff run, run with it, I think. There was a mention about uh, giving it to Mockingbird, but I think Mockingbird is better with lasers. Uh, I, I don't, I, you know what? I know it's number wise is actually not the truth, but um, gonna give her the laser mech anyway because um, it just seems like in the past that she's always been better with lasers. So in this one, the pirates got like two PPCs, two larges, two mediums, so that should work really well for her. All right, so let's deploy and get this done. All right, guys. Oh, f fucking good. Well, at least the di the uh, dire wolf will be nice and cool on this map. So the main lance is going to be spread across here. Second lance coming from back here. Uh, we're going to move up to the left, or yeah, to the left. Well, I actually got that one right. <laughs> it's weird. I said we're going to move up to the left, and my first my first thought was, oh, that's the right. I'm like, wait, no, it's not. It's the left. Um. We're going to move up this way, and we're going to slow down. Uh, once again, uh, just so you know, I mentioned last uh, the last episode that uh, it's Victoria Day weekend here in Canada, so if you hear some fireworks going off in the background, that's exactly what they are. They're not, uh, they are not um, gunshots or anything. Gunshots in Canada. <laughs> that's just funny. Um, okay, let's move in slowly. What do we got here? We got Javelin and a Phoenix. Is that supposed to be Phoenix Hawk or what is the Phoenix? I know what a Phoenix is, but I don't. Wow, four mediums, eh? These guys are going to wish they never showed up. But that hurts. I'm hearing vehicles. Commander. Well, I guess I couldn't have expected much with a three and a half skull, but. Yeah, we're not going to get any range on these guys, so let's just walk it up and stay out of the, uh, got enough heat problems as it is. I wonder if I should really, I mean, I like the Ultra 20 on this, uh, Timberwolf. I'm just wondering, because a lot of the, a lot of the matches were at long range here, so I wonder if we should, uh, go back to a longer range out, out um, outlay on them. Like, the rack is actually doing pretty well on this guy. Uh, I'm gonna go four, I think, and fire. Should have gone six. Going down. I was really hoping to get more than that, but. Um, okay. Yeah, we're gonna hit with everything. Uh, hyper assault, assault definitely going to go full out. So this should drop by two every turn, I believe. That's actually a pretty good chance to hit overall. Fire Fist, Phoenix. What's a? I can't even read that. Is that a medium? I don't know. It's taking hits though. Enjoy! Uh, 
receiving you. All right. Roger that. I don't see the second lance here anywhere. God, I love the sound effects on this planet. Sounds like some kind of crazy creature, but it's probably just the dust devils or something. Confirmed. Nope. Standing by. Hmm. I'm there. Let's target this guy. Oh, come on. Really? Trying to get within melee range. And he is now. Gonna vigilance because I want to go before this guy, I think. Um. Well, let's say hello. That Hyper Goss certainly looks impressive when it's firing. I just, I don't know. I mean, we could put just a third Goss rifle in instead of the Hyper and go for pinpoint, but... I guess the idea is to use it and try to open up an area, like soften up one area that we can then pinpoint. But, I don't know. When it doesn't look like we're getting any crits off it. Enemy detected. That's fine. They only got two guys here? I guess so. He goes on 23. See what he's doing. Rhino could be in a little trouble here. Come on, move a vehicle. Move a vehicle. Move a vehicle. You know you want to. Come on. Just thinking about it. What the? What's up, boss? What the shit? On my way. Did he just stood still? Maybe his chance to to hit anybody was bad. I don't know. Bad. I don't know. Well, we're not going to let him recover from that. Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. These guys can't be Comstar Order. units. Eh. Yeah, you fucking shit up today, girl. Ready for orders. Let's just show him what a bad idea it was for not moving. You know what I bet you he was doing? He was being eyes for everybody else. Bet you that's what it was. That's why he didn't do anything. 
He just stood there and did nothing and died. I bet you they got a gorilla or something over there. <laughs> How is this advanced equipment, guys? Two machine guns? Certainly impressive fireworks, I gotta say that. Like, I couldn't imagine being in battle against that. Like, just showing up and then have that right in your face. It'd just scare the shit out of you. Especially when you know what Goss Rifles can do, and then you hear this friggin' Goss noise going off all over. It's an urban mech. Standing by. <sighs> ADD much, guy? Gotcha. Oh, man. Urban mech. Okay, Mad Cat Mark II. Yeah. What's up, boss? Location I think there's something else over there. Just concerned that it's like a gorilla or something. Orders. Move orders received. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Orders. On the move. Doesn't mean anything though. We know how quickly those uh, gorillas can sneak up on you. It was in the strike range. We can come up over the hill next turn, I think, from here. Waiting for orders. Acknowledge. What's up, boss? Moving out. Well, I've only got these two. I wasn't looking at the number over there. You guys are probably like, look at the number. You don't know what you're doing. Look at the number. Two gas rifles, eh? Okay. No crits on that guy, the hyper assault. Commander. Man, I really love the look of these mechs. Have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. Roger. Full speed. What the hell has this guy got? Oh, rocket launchers, probably. Not anymore. But I mean, he had them. Saw the connection on that one. Have a seat. walk to give us the best chance going after this uh, let's make this four fire damn it okay who's got what left uh, you got everything left Destroyed. 
All right, here comes those rocket launchers. Yep. Waiting for orders. On my way. All right, finish him up. See ya. So much for advanced gear. Alright, well, contract payment increased by 30%. Because um, that'll help with the little bit of damage that the uh, <laughs> Dire Wolf took. Uh, three and a half skulls, I thought that was going to be tougher. Um, Mark II Mad Cat, eh? 90 tons. I think that's what we go with. Yep, I think that's it. Well, we got three parts. Nice. Yeah, a couple of Goss rifles we can sell. Okay, not bad. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, nothing. Just interested to see how much control we have the, on the planet now. Um, so that was a three and a half against Comstar. 82, 18. Okay, so I reduced it a fair bit. All right, let's see what else we got here. There's a four and a half, right? Raiding party. It's a Lauren Commonwealth, but who cares? Let's go after them. Intercept the lance and destroy it. Yeah, sure, man. You got that right. Let's accept this. Yeah, we'll wait till uh, we have everything back because, you know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, almost. There we go. All right, let's hope we get enough out of this, too. Oh, we saw, we got two Gauss rifles, so we can sell those. Actually, I'm going to do that right now before I forget. Just want to make sure we don't accidentally uh, miss our financial report here because I'm an idiot. Um, Gauss rifles, two of them. There we go. That should do it. Just barely. Okay, here we go. Raiding party. The five skulls of base defense, and uh, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Let's deploy. Alright, here we go. Yeah, they're over there. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, let's take our normal approach. This way gives us a little bit of cover. Plus, if they get reinforcements, they usually come in from the right-hand side. I love the fact that the dashi still has speed, even without the supercharger. So just doing some quick calculations in my head. Commander. So the Gauss rifle loadout no on the uh, Rifleman 2, eh? Okay. On the um, Dire Wolf. So the Gauss rifles are hitting for about 90 each, right? And the Hyper Assault Gauss does 5 damage plus 20%, which is 6 damage per projectile, which we're firing 30. So 30 times 6 is 160, or sorry, 180, right? And the two Goss is hitting for 90 each is 180. So the max damage we've got is 360, right? So if you do some quick math, that's that's the maximum damage, right? 360. Um, so if you want to um, do pinpoint, it's not going to happen. But um, the minimum amount of damage you can do is one per missile. Ooh. That should be where Mockingbird should be standing. Um, so the minimum damage you can do if they all hit is 30. So you've got really a 210 to, to 360 window of damage. 
negative damage. Now half that is splash. Right? Yeah. Now I pinpoint. So let's say let's say you hit for 360, right? The loadout I had before, which was the two Gauss rifles, the two ER larges, and the two ER mediums, um, that actually does more damage overall than the other load, just by a minor amount. Um, but it's not splash, it's all pinpoint. So I don't know, like I'm still not convinced that the hyper assault Gauss is gonna be in this configuration, with the effect, with the exception of heat, like Man. even if we had a flamer mech come at us, um, yeah, let's move up. If we had a flamer mech come at us, there's not much. That, I mean, you could try to overheat us, but it just won't work. So these guys can't see us. So that's a huge benefit. Um, but with Warlord. The increase in damage 10%. We're going to get more out of that with the uh, larger damage weapons. Hmm. Gonna wait. And the reason because um, it's added on to whatever the damage is you're doing. So, for instance, if you're doing 3 damage, 10% is 0.3, which still rounds down to 3. So it's not giving you any advantage at all. But if you're doing 30 damage, right, it's it's giving you another 3 points. Um, do we want to go for this guy's head? I think we do. Because he did not move, and if we can take his head off in one shot, that would be very nice. That looked like a headshot to me. Commander. Move order received. Um, let's not heat up. I'm gonna warlord this once again. It was a headshot. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, but not to the head. Yes, Commander. It's supposed to be taking the head. So anyway, I want to try it with a different configuration and see what kind of DPS we can get out of it. Now the Gauss rifle accuracy, there is no contention that the accuracy is fantastic. Ah oh, crap, we're going to blow this guy up, aren't we? Um, so there's no, I mean there's no argument there, You're not going to, I'm not going to argue that the uh, accuracy is poor on this mech. Alright, let's just hammer him. Max out, and fire. Alright. The big problem right now is, is I used up all my devil heat sinks in the Black Knight. Because it is a laser mech, so... If I was going to do this mech a different way, that's what I'd be using. But we can't do that now. I mean, I guess I could, but... It would just mean refitting the Black Knight completely. I don't want to do that. It's already outfitted. We haven't used it yet, so... Ooh, look at that. Yeah, man. You got that right. Getting weak opposition today. Critical hit, Commander. Putting up some big numbers. Ooh, a pair of Gauss rifles. Night Star. I have no idea what that is. A Night Star R R. -R. Totally in range. Elite Striker, eh? Does that say 85 ton assault? Looks like it does. 85 or 95. Uh, 
I think we're gonna have a duel here. Goss rifle duel. Ow! That's not fair. It's two against one. What the hell? Is that another one? A oh, carronade. AMS for the win. All right. You're on vehicle duty. Not that you can actually shoot any on this turn, but uh, you're on vehicle duty. Waiting for orders. I'm there. They want to double up on it. We can double up on it. Ooh, large is hit. Ready for orders. I think it's out of the range for the rack. Yeah. I copy. We can play the long range game. I wonder if they lost sensor trace when they moved. So we're still, they got six guys still. If we can take out this Night Star or RR from a distance, we could uh, clean these guys out pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, I think they lost sensor. They lost sensor. Sucks to be you. It sucks to be you. Well, there's a crit. Enemy Critical damage detected. Finally. After how many salvos? Over the past two missions? Close a little bit. There we go, that's better. Copy that, Commander. See, for the application of dam uh, damage, the two PPCs, the two larges, and the two ER mediums have been consistently good. I mean, now, yeah, we got a lot of targeting and stuff in there. Um, but still, the consistency of it Yeah. Ready for orders. Can we get to where that guy can't get us? There we go. There we go. Roger that. That's the Patton. That's the Ontos. Patton's got what? Ultra 10. Ontos is the missile LRM 10s and mediums. Let's take out the pinpoint damage one. I don't know if we will. No, we won't. We can take this guy out, though. I think so. Let's fire at this guy. Well, it's way better. Worst chance to hit. Let's go after this guy. Okay, it's another vehicle back there. And two vehicles. Winston. And Alicorn, which has got Gauss rifles. Something else got damaged. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. He's not having a good day. I know how you feel, buddy. I've been there. At least you're still standing up. Torso twisting is not going to help you. So if this guy doesn't fire... Okay, we're going to... We're going to uh, focus for down these two vehicles now. That should pretty much ensure the guys at the back won't see us. Oh, that guy's seeing us. Well, he's got a direct line of sight, that is. We knew he could see us because we can see them, like, right, right there. Five from thirty... Right, 
are these vehicles doing? Damage reduction is helping out there for sure. Oh yeah, I put the um, the padding on the uh, dire wolf, that one that gives minus fifteen percent percent uh, chance for critical hits. Put it in the dire wolf because I figure it's going to be targeted by a lot of a lot of things, including like missiles and stuff. So it's fifteen percent for every missile that hits, so a lot less chance for it to get critted. It's the laser spam. Systems holding. Yeah, you're good down there, Rhino. You got this, girl. Let you have that guy. Yes, Commander. There we go. Let's get where those other guys can't see us. Yeah, we'll leave this one off. And we'll leave them both off. And fire, we gotta do deal with the heat problem on this thing. There we go. Shredded! Thank you. I like her very much. Alright, we're on these vehicles now. Let's get rid of them out of here. And then we can take those guys down at range at leisure. And firing. Target acquired. Nicely done. Let's finish him up. Inflicted some heavy damage. So we're going to take, once we get this down, this vehicle gone, can we get into a position where those guys can't see us? Like right here. Thank you. We're going to take a turn and cool off. Yeesh. Well, I don't know why I'm complaining. Bang, you're dead. Enemy unit destroyed. Surprised they're not scouting with an atlas. Isn't that their normal scout mech is the atlas? I mean, not that it would have mattered. Still would have got shredded. Oh, you and your swarm. Ready for order. Okay, taking a turn to cool off, girl. Let's get back here. No shooting, just running. Waiting for orders. No shooting, just running. Split up and minimize the splash. Commander? That's probably okay. See what they do here. Guy's not doing a good thing. Uh, we still went through the radiation. Not that it matters, but try to avoid it. All right, uh, let's hammer this guy.
Some big numbers in the back there. This guy essentially gave it to us. Oh, really bad chance to hit. Good thing we got Warlord. That'll help out a little bit. Crank it up and fire. Okay, so I was wrong. Looks like the ammo gets used up. Because it's firing three shots, right? Yeah. Okay, that would make sense. Hammer him! Well, he wanted to do a Goss Rifle battle, so he got one. There we go. That's the Alicorn. We want this guy because of all the Goss Rifles. Ah, good damage, but not enough. Ah, well. It's not going to save you. Oh. Waiting for orders. Just gonna move back, eh? All right. Engaging party. Waiting for orders. Let's bring the fight to them. Had to make sure. Don't want those pinpoints gone. Can we get eyes on? On my way, double time. Okay, rack it up. Ooh, lots of solid shots on that guy. Just within range. Here we go. So that was a pretty easy four and a half skull. <sighs> All right, see what we got here. Carinade, eh? Two ballistic, four laser hard points, and that's it, eh? Wow. That's the seven, though. Night Star is 95 tons, four, five, and three. Rifleman 2. Okay. Alright, what do we want here? I saw those three triple plus Goss rifles. Problem with these guys is the weight. We wouldn't be able to get all three of them in the uh, Direwolf. Good accuracy. Does less stability damage, but um, yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. Eh. All right. What do we got down here? Plus one energy. Increased crit chance. Fire control system improved. A whole lot of nothing. Tracker sensors will take. TTS ballistic. Got nine gas ammo left. Maybe we should take some more just in case. Let's see what we need here. You know what we do need though? Double heat sinks because I sold them and then I realized I needed these for the exterminator. That's why I was saving them because it's got the royal heat sink kit in there. Ah, do I want to just take a double heat sink though? Probably. We're not getting a lot of good stuff out of this anyway. I mean, I could take mech parts, but honestly, at this point. We're going to get some anyway, so let's see what we get. Oh, we got four rifleman parts. That's kind of cool. Gauss rifle. Yeah, not much else. All right. 162, not too bad. We need to, we need to take a couple of Gauss hits, so... I was expecting a little bit of a price tag. All right. We got enough for financial report here. Let's see what we did. How we do? How do we do with the planet here? Uh, 100%. Nice. Who's over here? Pride's Pride. See, see those guys on a lot? Comstar, eh? Man, if it wasn't Half Skull, I'd be over here in an instant. Oh, well. Who else is on here? Old Smokey's Marauders. Opus's Marauders. Mortal Engines. Alright, well, we managed to put the planet all the way in our control, which is great. So I think I'm going to leave the episode here for today. Um, yeah, so thoughts on the Goss loadout? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn. Um, we didn't really get a good opportunity to see it in, a, in really heavy combat. However, the one thing I will say, though, is I'm thinking I'm going to have to... Um, Gonna have to stick another um, ton of hyper hyper velocity gas ammo in there. So I'm wondering if the AMS has got to come out. You could pull the AMS out and figure out what else we're gonna do with it. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so the mech, the the exterminator here. So what I ended up doing is I had one inner sphere double heat sink kit and a, and a few double heat sinks. I think I had like six of them. And I'm like, why am I hanging on to these? I got like 40 clan double heat sinks and like five clan double heat sink kits. I'm like, why am I hanging on? I completely forgot why I was hanging on to those double heat sinks. And it's because the exterminator here has got the royal heat sink kit already built into it, right? So it's got maximum overheat, minus six heat per turn, minus five percent weapon heat generated, and everything. So I was holding on to them for this guy because it has to use inner sphere double heat sinks. And I forgot completely that's what I was holding on to them for. So, and since this thing is primarily an energy build, right? It's got eight energy hard points. Uh, I, I'm going to need the double heat sinks, right? So anyway, that's why I took the double heat sink. Because I'm going to have to start building them up again in order to get this guy into play. I mean, we got two missile hard points that I could take advantage of. And maybe make this guy a missile launching mech? I don't know. But for right now, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. Just leave it how it is, I guess. We want to go with lasers, so we're going to need to get double heat sinks. So let's hope we get a few of those. This Black Knight, I haven't figured out what we're going to do with this yet. Um, it's got the XL engine in it already, ready to go, but still haven't figured out what we're doing with that one. But we do have three mechs now for the second Lance. So um, I think we should probably try out this Black Knight, see how it's working. Maybe we take the second Lance in on a relatively easy mission with, the th with three mechs until we can get the Exterminator up and running. Either that or we could put we could put two arrow systems in this guy. If they'd fit, one on each torso. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, maybe we make him a fire support for now until we can get more heat sinks. That's a possibility. It's kind of a waste of a mech, but I want to get that second lance running, and it's really the only way I think I can do it. I don't want to go with this Black Knight because we've got like four tons of unusable space because of the built-in uh, weapon. Or, sorry, the built-in combat shield. Is it the shield or the weapon? It's a weapon, I think. 
I think it's five tons, not four. Just check out real, really, really quick here. Yeah, it's five tons. So it's five wasted, excuse me, five wasted tons. So, I mean, I'm probably going to end up trashing or selling this mech. I don't want a 75 tonner with five. It's really a 70 tonner mech, 70 ton mech then. With 75 ton armor, of course, but still. But we got other stuff in storage I could pull forward. I want to use the exterminator. I like it because it's got that chameleon, um, the chameleon system in it. Like we got a ton of mechs here, right? Centurion, catapult, like all the clan mechs that we've got in backup, like 55 tonners and stuff. I mean, this this centurion is kind of cool too. Um, but I don't know. A couple of catapults. But let's get this exterminator going. He's, he's up and running. So I think what I'll do between episodes is I'll figure out some kind of missile loadout right now with uh, a lighter regular uh, laser loadout cause, and then just get an exchanger in there and that one double heat sink that we have and see how it works. And then we can get the second lance running until we can get some more parts for it. Because we can be taking a lot of lower missions with them now. I, I think the biggest drawback that we have where our funds have been continuously tanking is we've got these lower level missions that we're not taking. We're taking all the higher level ones and then we've got to go somewhere else because there's not enough high level missions to really take, right? So something like this could be done with the light, with the light lance and save all the four skulls and above. Not light lance, the second lance. Save all the four skulls and above for uh, our main lance, like Vanguard here, the defend base. It's a lunar environment too. That would be a nightmare. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave the episode there. Maybe next time when you come back, you get a good chance to have a look at the exterminator. But we are six days away from financial report, so I'm going to sell some junk that we've got in storage. And uh, when we come back, we'll uh, have the exterminator up and running. We'll have two lances going. We'll check the map to see where we can go. Um, or who knows, by the time we come back, this planet could be under Comstar service. That'll be tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so if you liked the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the exterminator being a, you know, a, a missile platform until we get some more heat sinks? Um, also, uh, how do you feel about the new loadout with the uh, direwolf? Once again, I'm not 100% sold on that hyper assault goss being in the torso. But it didn't seem to perform all that badly. Um, my only concern is lack of really good, accurate pinpoint damage. But, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll take it into a few more harder missions just to see how it, uh, what the staying power is once we get another ton of ammo into it. All right. So, uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see everybody later.